Well, we made it. Okay, we'll see if it gets up and boogies a little bit here. Jason brought his crack with him. <laughs> you want to smoke it? No. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. So the electricians were here yesterday, Thursday, and today's Friday. And they have all of our lights and wiring all completed. Well, a couple minor things. I think they're waiting on a GFIC breaker for the new welder outlet, which is above the workbench over here. So waiting on that GFIC breaker, and that's nothing. That's just to pop it in. And then I think there was just a couple minor things, like a three-way switch on the other side of the shop maybe. And otherwise, the rest of it's good to go. We need to get that old furnace down at some point. But the garage door opener is all wired up with an outlet there. Shelves, and as you can tell, we started getting this area clean because Jason actually showed up over here and we've got the flatbed trailer. I gotta hit these lights because we're leaving. And we're gonna head over and just pick up a pick up a sweet ride that you guys, if you follow along, you know what we're going to pick up right now. So we're gonna load up, gotta get some straps found, head over there. Load up that sweet ride, bring it back over here since we have a hoist now that is available and ready to be worked on. Something to be worked on on it, I should say. Oh, I can't talk today. So, all right, flip the lights off here. We'll head over there and I'll catch you guys over there. Well, we made it. Here's some of the stuff from the shop that's still sitting over here. But the main thing is Phoenix. Well, there's the Goliath sitting here. But yeah, no, it's hard to kind of look back at this. Not that it was like a mint truck or anything. Obviously, it was pretty damn rusty, but still the whole event kind of sucks. You know, we're missing all this glass. Front windshield, I think we took out, but all the side windows, back window, all that stuff blew out from the heat. Just ruined everything. But So we need to decide at this point what we're going to take out of here to make sure we have what we need. Obviously we can come back here, but we need to make sure we got the things to keep working on this. All the, as you can see here, the Crown Vic front end was all put in. This is that bolt that I went to tack on the firewall that caused all the issues. We started all this fiasco. And then, yeah, once we get that loaded up, then we got stuff over here too. We'll have to dig through these pallets and see which pallets we actually need. We'll do that, we'll get a forklift over here, get this stuff pushed out, get it loaded up, and then head back to the shop, and then kind of just need to do a thorough thorough look over the truck, I think, Jason, make sure, uh, make sure there's no damage, because honestly, we loaded this thing up right away and brought it over here, and that was the last that we seen of it, and it's six months later, so I don't remember what I ate last night for supper. I don't know about Jason, but... He ate too much today. <laughs> he ate too much today. But yeah, so needless to say, we need to figure out what we need, don't need. I think we ruined a brand new steering column. Maybe we can put bearings in it. Need to get this motor out, because I think this is the motor we're going to use. And go through that, make sure it's still good. But yeah, I'll grab a forklift. We'll get this thing pushed out and get it loaded up, and we'll head back to the shop. All right, so Jason and I dug through the things that we thought we would need at this point. And man, I got to tell you, I don't miss the days of having all the soot inside the shop. I don't know about Jason, but carried a few boxes out here, and this stuff we kind of threw out of the shop in a hurry, just so we could get the cleaning started on the shop, and they weren't covering any auto parts, so it kind of got thrown inside the uh, building here without getting wiped off. All raw steel, complete rust, not that we can't clean it, but I got a good friend of mine's four-wheeler there that I need to just double check so he can pick up that's been over here as well, but... We'll wrap it there and we'll see you guys back at the shop. <laughs> All right, using the winch here to get this offloaded. That way we don't roll it and crash it into the hoist or something. We don't want to have another bad day. Got this all hooked up, get it rolled inside, and then I think I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning and we'll just kind of do a once over on the truck and maybe get our thoughts together here on what we might need or need to do first and then we'll get that game plan together and continue from there all right so a little change of plans from last night we ended the video obviously in the shop there 
And today we're in a little bit different shop. We're back in Carl's shop here, working on his 66 Nova. And okay. what, okay. <laughs> what, what we're gonna do here is, these cheap little fans that are on here just are not cool in this big 406 down. So I went ahead and picked up a Dorelli. I think this is a 14 inch fan, but either way, I got the uh, shroud with fan because we got low clearance. So this was the smallest one I could find. And then we also went ahead and picked up the PWM module that goes with it. So this will uh, pulse width module, change the RPM of the fan exactly when the temp goes up and keep it varied from whatever speed it needs from 1500 to 2200 RPM. So I think what we're gonna do now is just to get a little difference of for ourselves, we're gonna fire this up and listen to the fans that are on there now and then we'll get the new one installed and then we'll see what that sounds like. Now to see if you can turn the blower and slide that bottom lever. So there's what it's like with the two 12 inch fans that are currently on there. We'll go ahead and get the Dorelli installed and we'll see what that sounds like. about a crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah, getting not. the last bolt in on the shroud here. And then as you can see, this is the <clears throat> PWM module here. So we'll have to run some wiring to that. Unfortunately, we do have down on the fender well, probably can't see it, a positive and negative terminal there. So we'll run our hot and ground and then wire up the fans. And then the only other wire we got to pull from that passenger side harness is the AC wire. We'll get that tied in as well. We would be ready to hear this baby roar. AC wire, what's that do? Well, you don't have no AC anyways. Well, needs... that's ass crack. Yeah. <laughs> AC ass crack. All right. Well, we got plenty of ass crack. We'll wrap this up and then uh, we'll come back with you when we're done. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so we just got everything installed on the Nova here. Just went ahead and warmed it up. Fan's already ramping down, but doesn't sound like a lot, but boy, you can definitely feel the air even when you're standing back here by the door. It's blowing Carl's hair all over, that's for sure. <laughs> What's left of it. So I think the last thing we need to double check is I know the distributor was pulled out at one point. We want to check timing just to make sure that's not a influence of why the temperature is running up. So we'll see if we can get one of those, maybe borrow one quick here. Otherwise, the fan install, I got to put the cover back on, so ignore that there. We'll put the cover back on. We're going to adjust that a little bit more so it kicks on sooner. And then, yeah, we'll go from there and maybe take it for a spin and see what happens. For some cunt. What's that? On the hunt for some cunt. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep, yep. Many thanks. All right, so we're, we're still warming up a bit here. We're at 208. I think the next thing we need to do is change the thermostat in it and maybe put a 160 in. We're not even sure if there is one in it, to be honest. So that'll be the next step in the process. But at this point, we'll take her for a quick spin here and just see if it holds temperature. They're over there picking the uh, quarter windows. So, all right, we'll take her for a spin here and see if she can actually hold temperature or continues to go up or what. And then uh, I think next step will be a thermostat. Pull it off, see what's in there, and I think we're going to put a 160. It's never going to be drove in the wintertime anyway, so no point to build heat in a motor like this when you don't need the heat for wintertime. So, all right, well, we'll take her for a cruise. All right, well, here we go. Let me close your door. Okay. Put your seatbelt on. Oh, that's in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're in the car.
starting off. We'll see if fans are definitely helping. Because oh, well, there we go. We're starting to drop a little bit. Probably a lot of motor to cool, honestly. Mm -hmm. Did check the timing. You know, I don't think we caught that. We had like 12 degrees at idle, I think, and then it's got obviously your springs inside the distributor letting it go up to like 34. So it doesn't seem like it's anything that should affect anything. We better slow down here.
guys back in the shop with the uh, truck and we'll go over that stuff and wrap it there. Get that training. Hey Lenny, when can I get that training? <laughs> <laughs> we kind of need it. <laughs> All right, so we made it back to the shop here and we went ahead and actually rolled the truck out and fired up the old pressure washer. I know it sounds stupid pressure washing something that was on fire, but obviously there was a bunch of loose paint from the firewall and everything inside that you know was painted at one point was all loose and flaked off so we went ahead and pressure washed it then we rolled it inside and then some of these spots that had a little bit of paint actually you could rub it and it would come off as like a chalky residue so we took some degreaser especially on the firewall there where it kind of melted it but didn't burn it off so we went ahead and did that and we pressure washed some of the stuff that we should have done before like the front rack i mean it's not the best but it's definitely took off 10 pounds of grease that was on there so I think we're going to wrap this video there. We've got it all cleaned up, letting it dry off tonight. And then we kind of, well, we didn't really sort through, but we've been digging through to make sure what we have or don't have. Um, biggest thing right now is I'd like to put the motor back in, get started on headers again, and maybe not burn the shop down this time. And then we can start mounting some other stuff up. We need to find a seat. And if anybody has a seat, let us know. Cheap. <laughs> Kind of on a fixed budget here. Um, yeah, I just need some kind of racing seat or something for there. And then we've got some glass located. If anybody knows of any glass around here, let me know that as well. Got a junkyard, but we'd have to take it all out. So that's kind of the last thing on our list. But yeah, headers will be the first thing. We got a tranny located. We need to go pick that up. And then I'm going to lift the box off, which is just setting on there with the bolts down through the bed. And start welding all this we're in stuff up. Get that all done, set the box on there for now, finish mocking everything else up front, radiator support, all that stuff. And then I, if we have time, which I really want to do, I want to paint the frame. Just so that way it's done and if we add anything, we'll just grind and weld and then respray the areas that we have to weld on to. Got a little bit of work to do, Jason. Yeah, I think we got 40 days or something, plenty of time. Why rush now? We'll, we'll wait until there's like three days left and then we'll put the push on. So, we're going to wrap it there, guys. Appreciate each one, every one of you guys coming back. Comment down below things that you guys want to see us do to the truck or anything else. Uh, well, Jason will do about anything, so don't comment too much. <laughs> but yeah, all right, we appreciate it, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.